Friends, for a couple months I've been reporting on the fake Ozempic pens that have been showing up in pharmacies and how this was just happening overseas. It's happening here now. And I've been warning you about this. So it came out today that the FDA is reporting that at least three Americans have been hospitalized due to fake versions of Ozempic that they injected themselves with. Going back a few videos ago where I covered what was going on overseas, it sounds like a similar thing over here where people are injecting Ozempic uh, pens that are filled with insulin. So since we know this is happening in the United States now, I want to remind you of this that I showed you. It's a way to tell whether you have a fake bootleg version of Ozempic or the actual Ozempic pen. So let's take a closer look here. As you can see over here is the fake version. You see the, the pen is kind of a different color. The, the top push button is purple, but the big distinguishing factor is gonna be this right here. You'll see numbers on the plastic part that purports to contain the actual medication. Whereas on the regular Ozempic pen, you see this gray area around the liquid and there are no numerical markings. This is just one way that you can tell whether you have a bootleg version, a counterfeit version of Ozempic or the actual brand name. Very important to check with your pharmacy, make sure that they don't have any reservations about the way that these look or any weird reports from uh, patients on the Ozempic that they have. It's time to be vigilant because this issue's over here. Do I think it'll become widespread? Probably not. Do I think there's cause uh, for everyone to panic? No, but there is reason there is reason for us to be vigilant and make sure that what we're getting is what we're supposed to be getting. And if I were to speculate out again, I would say that this is probably not going to be an isolated incident to just Ozempic. So please make sure that you're truing up the way that your medication looks today versus the way that it has normally looked, especially as it relates to the boxes and the packaging. And uh, if you have any concern, please make sure you talk to your doctor, talk to your pharmacist. If you found this video helpful, please follow my channel and please share this with somebody who might find it helpful also.